Hi friends, hope you are fine. In the last video we discussed about G protein coupled receptor. Today let us understand what are intracellular receptors. At the end of the discussion you will be able to understand the two major types of intracellular receptors, the structure of nuclear receptors, type 1 nuclear receptor pathway and type 2 nuclear receptor pathway within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with what are intracellular receptors. Intracellular receptors are a family of lichen activated transcription factors. They are called as transcription factors as they can directly bind to DNA and initiate gene expression that are activated by steroid hormones such as estrogen and other lipid soluble signals such as retinoic acid. There are two types of intracellular receptors, type 1 receptors and type 2 receptors. Type 1 receptors are intracellular cytoplasmic receptors. That means the receptor is located in the cytoplasm. So this is a receptor. Ligand binds to the receptor in the cytoplasm. Then this ligand receptor complex is translocated into the nucleus where it binds to DNA and induces gene expression. Example includes estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, etc. In the case of type 2 receptors, the receptor is located inside the nucleus in the presence or absence of ligand. So these are intracellular nuclear receptors. This ligand crosses the plasma membrane and moves through the nuclear pore and binds to the receptor inside the nucleus. Then it binds to DNA and activates gene expression. Examples include retinoic acid receptor, thyroid receptor, etc. So this is a diagrammatic representation, a tree of 48 human nuclear receptors. You can see nuclear receptor 6, ER alpha, ER beta, etc. Now let us understand nuclear receptor structural domains. Nuclear receptors share a basic structure of 4 to 5 domains. As you see, this is the first domain, AB domain, then C domain, D, E and F domain. So let us understand each domain one by one. First domain is called the AB domain, which is also called as N-terminal domain. So this domain is a highly variable domain in length and sequence with a transactivation factor 1. So transactivation factors are regions where other proteins can bind that effectively increases or activates transcription of genes. And the second domain is called DNA binding domain or C domain. This is a conserved DNA binding domain with two zinc finger DNA binding motifs. And the third domain is the hinge region, a flexible region with nuclear localization signal that helps in translocation into the nucleus. And the fourth domain is the E domain or lichen binding domain. Here the lichen binds. It's a conserved lichen binding domain with the second transactivation factor that is involved in dimerization. Normally upon ligand binding, the receptor dimerizes. And finally, the F domain or C-terminal domain. This is present only in some receptors. These are short variable C-terminal domains. Functions are unknown. In the case of estrogen receptor, C-terminal domain is thought to be involved in modulating selective estrogen receptor modulators or SCRMs. So these are the basic structural domains of a nuclear receptor. So this is a three-dimensional image of this DNA binding domain as you can see and this is a ligand binding domain and this is a ligand that binds to this domain. Now let us understand type 1 nuclear receptor pathway. Let's take estrogen as an example. Let's divide this into steps for better understanding. Step 1 is ligand binding and detachment of heat shock proteins. This receptor is bounded to heat shock proteins in its inactive state. Upon ligand binding, as you see, this heat shock protein is detached. Second step is nuclear receptor dimerization. It forms a dimer. Receptor hormone complex forms a dimer or dimerization of receptor hormone complex. Then this receptor hormone complex is translocated to the nucleus through the nuclear pore and finally, this receptor hormone complex bind to hormone response element or specific DNA sequence or binding of nuclear receptor dimer to DNA, which are often called as HRE, hormones response element. In the case of estrogen receptor, 
it is called as estrogen response element a specific region of dna where the where the nuclear receptor dimer binds and initiates transcription upon binding of this nuclear receptor dimer to hra or hormone response element other coactivators and rna polymerase is recruited for transcription that lead to transcription of genes downstream forming mrna and finally forming protein that changes cellular function in the case of estrogen receptor often the proteins are involved in cell growth division and differentiation so this is how a type 1 nuclear receptor works where the receptor is located in the cytoplasm let me summarize first upon ligand binding heat shock protein is detached from the receptor making it active second step is dimerization of this nuclear receptor then this receptor hormone complex is translocated in the nucleus where the binding of nuclear receptor dimer with the dna happens then recruitment of coactivators and rna polymerase and transcription of genes downstream forming mrna and finally forming protein that results in changed cellular function and finally causing gene expression and cellular response now let us understand type 2 nuclear receptor pathway remember in type 2 nuclear receptor pathway the receptor is inside the nucleus that is bound to a coreceptor step 1 is ligand binding to the receptor causes the dissociation of this coreceptor hormone binds to the receptor this is a ligand binding domain and this is the dna binding domain then recruitment of coactivator proteins as you see this coreceptor is dislodged then coactivator proteins are recruited along with rna polymerase then all the proteins that is required for transcription is on the site that causes transcription of downstream genes finally transcription lead to formation of mrna and finally forming protein that alters cellular response that gene expression causes changes in cellular response so this is how type 2 nuclear receptor pathway works let me summarize type 2 nuclear receptor pathway as you see in type 2 nuclear receptor pathway the receptor is inside the nucleus that is bound to a coreceptor hormone or ligand binds to the receptor that causes detachment of coreceptor step 2 is the recruitment of coactivator proteins then that is followed by recruitment of all other proteins that is required for transcription like rna polymerase response element and the sequence where the receptor like in complex binds and that causes the expression of downstream genes forming mrna finally forming protein and this gene expression lead to change in cellular response thank you so much for your support take care stay blessed you are with biologyexamsforyou.com